Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMags.com. Aluminium pontoon boats. Aluminium pontoon boats have been around for a long time. They're very much part of the New Zealand boating psyche. One of the earliest exponents of pontoon boats was Invercargill based Kiwi Craft and Guy Rodney Harris in 1988 produced his first Kiwi Craft pontoon boat and since then has sold thousands. Now one thing about the Kiwi Craft over the years that people have remarked on is their soft ride and the excellent construction. And like all pontoon boats, there's, there's the safety factor. The built-in buoyancy is just natural right through the whole boat. So Kiwi Crafts, they say, are unsinkable. The styling, over the years, they've developed from this, the open little dinghy through to the hard tops. A lot of the aluminium pontoon boats, they don't look very nice. But some of these guys, particularly Kiwi Craft, have taken notice of that. And over the years, they keep developing and developing. The latest 2017 models, they've retained the same quiet, soft riding, dry, hush tech hull. They've made a change in the pontoon shape, so they're a little, a little bit more stylish, a little bit more streamlined. They're a little bit wider, they're a little bit higher, and a little bit longer. So what you're gaining is a little bit more stability, you're gaining a lot more storage space right through the boats, and you're gaining more beam in the cockpit. So overall, just really improve the boats. But the things that they haven't lost is that really high quality of finish. Hi, Barry Thompson from BoatMags.com. Today we're looking at the new generation Kiwi Craft 520 Fisherman. Now this replaces the very, very popular 550 Fisherman, which has been around for a few years and we all loved it. This boat offers more space, a little bit more length, a little bit more beam, and it's just been purpose-built and designed for fishing. That's what it's all about. And one thing I like about it, you don't need a lot of horsepower on the back, 60 to 90 horsepower. It's a lightweight, small boat. It's only just about 1,100 kgs on the trailer, so it's a nice light compact boat. It's not an overnight, it's a day fishing boat. It's ideal for two to four people. There's plenty of space in here. KiwiCraft have done it, they've kept it open, like all their boats, which has got that fishing aspect. So we'll have a look at some of the options are here. The boat's got more of everything. There's more beam in here, there's more height. This is 800, this is actually the same height as a lot of the larger Kiwi Crafts in here, 800 mil. Here with these new pontoons, nice big side tray built into the pontoon, so you're not losing anything inside the boat. It's The old pontoons used to sort of roll out and people said, oh, there's no room in the cockpit. There's plenty of room in this cockpit for a boat this size. But what I also love is these nice wide combings. Look at that. Great for sitting on, especially when you're fishing. Another neat thing about these is this seat here. This is a sliding seat. Option, put it anywhere you like. Sit on here, you get three people on here. But if you're into your fishing, you don't want it. Take it out. Okay, the transom area here, got your batteries and so forth under here, it's pretty conventional. Got a lift out here so you've got to walk through. You can put um, a live bait tank in here, so with a top load. Easy access through to a full width boarding platform. Drop down ladder makes it easy to get back on when you're diving and you can throw your, your you know, scollies on there. The other thing is to remember if you're backing up, one, this stops the water coming back inside, but it's got this deflector here. So if you're coming in on a surf beach, then that's going to sort of throw the water off a little bit more. Now, all Kiwi Crafts come with a standard bait board like this, nice polyethylene board, but there is a sort of bit more upmarket ones if you want to trade up. This is standard seating, twin pedestal seats. They've got four and a half sliders. You've got storage either side, good handrails. They've gone out and made a nice, good size dashboard here. Even a boat like this, you might want to put a 12 inch multifunction display screen in. So there's plenty of space here. And a little overhang here, keeps the, keeps the sunlight off. Would be a nice touch just to put that in that carbon fiber, imitation carbon fiber lookalike. Over the other side here, nice lip on this. So when you put your phone and your keys and your sunnies, they're not gonna roll off. I hate it when people just have them flush. Now while there are side decks, it's a bit of a small boat to walk around the side decks, but to get to the anchor locker, and again, this is a Kiwi Craft would traditionally have a little capstan winch in there. But look at this, a double opening. I haven't seen this before. Open that, that's cool. But then open that hatch like that, and you're right back into the corner here. So if you haven't got an electric capstan or something and you want to just use a manual, it's all there nice and easy. And then down below here, they've got these bags. 
Now they're, they're options, but they're, they're well worth having. So you can chuck your gear into there. And then the, behind these footrests too, these are designed to drop a little certain size bag in for your safety gear and bits and pieces like that. And you notice on the sole here, we've got the tube matting, that's an option. Now, while you can put an underfloor fuel tank in here as an option, what we've got on this boat is a 45 litre plastic tank. Now, it fits in there beautifully, and that's plenty for a motor of this size. And you, you can pull that out, fill it, and slide it back in again. If you don't want to do that, you can put a couple of tote tanks in, and your batteries are off the ground here. So, and come forward, down here, you don't often see this in a boat of this size, but look at the size of that storage bin. Man, I get a lot of scollies in there. Well, just the legal limit, of course. So there you have it, the new generation KiwiCraft 520 Fisherman. More space, more features, still on the same hush tech hull so you get that great ride and that great handling. Don't need a lot of horsepower, as I said it's a light boat on the trailer and it, it's a rocket ship with what we've got on the back here. So you know if you're in for a, a, a small family boat just for close inshore fishing, I think it'd be great for two people, maybe four you couldn't go much better than buying one of these.